All right, here we finally go. Part three of the DIY Forge Press, and it's time to get this thing assembled and see what it can do. Now, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of narrating on this one, so be sure to check out the description because I left some notes as well as some product links. In my first video, I mentioned Tyrell Knife Works, so another channel that I want to recommend is Redbeard Ops. Um, while I was making this press, I actually referenced his video a lot, specifically for the plumbing section and the parts list. So I'll leave a link, but he's got awesome, very detailed content, and if you haven't already, go check him out. Yeah, this fitting leaked right behind the swivel, so it had to be replaced. And this is just some protective sleeve that I put on all the hoses. Right here, I'm connecting the cylinder to the valve. Everything's routed correctly, but then I get to second guessing. So I watch a video and then off camera, yep, I switch the lines. So that's why later when I go to test it, it's backwards. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's right. I sprung a leak. Well, several of them. Besides having to track down some hard to find fittings, I also had to cut and re-weld the pump bracket because the new fittings were slightly longer and they didn't allow the motor to slide into alignment. And then I spent a few days chasing leaks, but in the end, I got all the kinks worked out, so let's check it out. Right here I'm running the press with the valve at the factory setting which was only a thousand psi on my pressure gauge but you really need to have a pressure gauge installed if you're going to make any adjustments and I'll show you where to do that in just a second. First you gotta remove this cap to the left of the plunger and you're probably gonna need a breaker bar because it's pretty tight. And then all you need is an allen wrench to turn the adjustment screw. So you increase the pressure by turning it clockwise and you decrease the pressure by turning it counterclockwise. I bumped mine up to a little over 2000 PSI so I still have a little headroom but I'm happy with it. I only adjusted a quarter turn at a time and it ended up being like a full turn or so, but let's take a look at the difference it made. <laughs> 